So one of my worst nightmares in traveling just happened to me. My luggage didn't arrive and as you can see around me, I'm in a winter wonderland with only a hoodie and a t-shirt. Minus nine degrees, but I decided to just go out. I don't want to waste any time. So let's see what we can capture here in beautiful Tromsø in Norway. Let's do this before I get hypothermia. <laughs> So how I'm surviving right now, it's beyond my comprehension. <laughs> I'm from a tropical country in minus 9 degrees Celsius weather and I feel fine. And I'm actually enjoying this walk. Everything looks so pretty. I think these are residential houses and they're covered in Christmas lights all over and so much snow. I did some more aimless walking around the snow and then I end up at my first viewing point of the city called the Tromso Viewing Point. Wow. <laughs> Immediately I was amazed by the sight I was seeing because just look at that. And I started feeling the shivers, not knowing if that was because of the moment or because I was freezing. I'm starting to feel numb on my fingers. <laughs> okay, taking B-roll without my tripods, without my hoodies and jackets. It's gonna be a tough job. It's the experience, guys. <laughs> I can't feel my face. <laughs> I continued on my sole expedition in this winter wonderland filled with snow, stumbled upon a small red church, and then found this small hiking trail at the edge of Tromso where I had some coastal views and snow-capped mountains. Another interesting fact about Tromso is that this time of the year, there's no sunrise. <laughs> so that light behind me is the only light I'm gonna have during this trip, and it only lasts around four or five hours. So. I want to maximize all the light I can have so I can take some landscape photos. I took my first set of landscape photos and while I really enjoyed the views, I was already starting to feel defeated because no one wanted to sit beside me here and give me warmth. I head back to the city and did what I knew best, eat burgers for dinner in a restaurant called Burger. Pretty amazing place and I also called on for fashionable reinforcements. I can feel them now. The next day my luggage still didn't arrive so I continued my foodie lifestyle and ate some delicious fish. Nothing much happened during the day because everything happened at night, which is for another video, so subscribe and stay tuned. Then the next morning, this happened. Uh, you okay? yes. Thank you very much, it's Thank yours. You. Thank you. Okay. Uh. It looks like everything's here. Now I think it's time to dress appropriately for the weather. Let's go outside. With all my gear and brand new bright yellow jacket with me, I decided to head back to the hiking trail from the previous day and photograph the shots I wish I could have taken with my telephoto lens. I just really enjoyed being able to zoom as far as I could into the landscapes to show the snow-capped details of the peaks, stunning mountain formations that I rarely see, and of course to run around and do the reason why I bought this new jacket. Take selfies. I then captured these two next images which satisfied the landscape photographer in me and thought this was a good warm-up for the next few days to come, where it will be a jam-packed schedule exploring even grander landscapes. Later that evening, I found my way to this lookout point of Tromso Island via a cable car going up 420 meters above sea level. Okay, so welcome to Fjellhasen, which is a viewing point here in Tromso, accessible via a cable car. Short ride, around 4 minutes and you're already up here. And behind me, it's night time and the city lights of Tromso are already shining up the night. A very beautiful view. So yeah, let's just take some photos. The main reason why I went up to this viewing point at night was I thought I might have the possibility of seeing the aurora above the city in the compositions. Yeah, that was a bit overreaching as it was too cloudy and I think I might have been better off if I went during the day when there was still some sunlight so I could see the landscapes in the background. As someone used to the stunning cityscapes of Hong Kong, I was a bit underwhelmed with what I have captured. So if ever you come here yourself, try to go during the day and maybe you'll appreciate it a bit more. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video, but don't worry, there's definitely more coming soon, so make sure to subscribe so that you'll be able to see what comes up next. This trip to Tromsø is a very, very special one and we're just getting started. So I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.